Good morning, everyone. We had our share of rain in San Francisco. My goodness, walking in the park in the mud is working on pedals. That is so amazing. And it is so invigorating. I want to talk about a short and very important topic. Many people have dry eyes and they really feel terrible. In fact, sometimes they cause infection of the eyes, inflammation of the eyes, and they definitely cause poor vision. I've heard of one surgeon that before he does cataract surgeries, he demands from his clients to have moisturizers for two whole months. And I know of some of my clients that under my watch, even though I asked them, please stop taking all those drops, they'll keep taking the drops to moisturize their eyes. And I want to tell you something about my experience. Almost every morning, I go down to my meditation and exercise room in my house. And as I stretch, it's amazing for me to feel how many tears get into my eyes. Now, mind you, I don't actually feel that my eyes are dry before. But the pleasant feeling when they get moist cannot even be described in words. It is so wonderful. Sometimes the tears just drop and drop and drop. And no, I don't have a problem with tears that always drop. Only in the time that I stretch and loosen up my middle back. And here's what I said again and again. Loosening up your middle back is the path for more tears. And why? Because you would be surprised to hear that the tension of the neck is the culprit with bad tearing. And the tension in the neck, to a great extent, is connecting to tense and immobile middle back. And as we sit for many hours, and modern people sit for many, many hours on chairs, the middle back becomes tighter and tighter. And so loosening the middle back can help your tears. You have my exercises in many of my books, and maybe one of these days I'm going to give you some more, but one which is very regular is that you sit cross-legged, you hold the two knees, you move your whole body in rotating motion in both directions and you first look up at the ceiling and then you slowly go down until the head touches the floor on the knees or halfway, whichever your stiff back allows you to do and you move in full rotations. Then you hold the right knee as your legs are crossed and you look to the left side all the way and then you bend all the way to the right and you move your whole body in rotating motion then you hold your left side and again you look all the way up at the ceiling and then all the way down to the floor and you move your whole back in rotating motion and then you hold both knees and you move your whole back in rotating motion in both directions and then cross the knees the opposite way and do exactly the same thing you can pause the program for the last 30 seconds that I want to talk to you and do exactly this exercise. It could be that, and it could be other exercises that would loosen up your middle back. And when your middle back will really be loose, your tears will start flowing. For example, today I lied on my back and I rolled from side to side. I also lied on my back on the floor, not on the bed, and bringing uh, the knees to my chest and then putting one leg over the other and moving the legs from side to side made a huge difference in my middle back. There's so many exercises. And you can get them in my book, Awakening Your Power of Self-Healing. Some of them are in my book, Movement for Self-Healing. Many of them are in my book, Vision for Life. And of course, you can get it from our videotapes. And that's why I really want to teach you a whole class on everything related to the eyes 
including taking away the dryness from the eyes. Many blessings to all of you, Mayor.